Oh. Oh. What I said first. <laughs> but finish. Right. Please. Um, and then, well, once I, I passed the scene that I was in the red camp, it was really easy to pretend that I'm part of the red camp because well, most of them were just sitting there, they're doing nothing, not watching um the thrones of the red avatar and his daughter, and well, the the table around them had some things on it. So, what things? Like like no, the, the cookies came later. Like um, a box, and letters, and and, and pens, those sort of things. So we took them, and I asked um, <laughs> and I asked that guy just sat there, really frustrated, if he needs help fixing his cannon, and he wouldn't let me help. Well, that was silly of him, because I I might have I might could have done something. Um, what? Might have nothing. Nothing. Stay focused. <laughs> what do you do with the plants? Focus. What? <laughs> oh, I brought them here. No, but the best thing was that um, after talking a little to the man near the cannon, um, who thought I was in his camp for some reason, even though I just took some stuff from um, the throne, he didn't notice that, it was really silly. Um, I came back to the throne to see if there's anything else interesting that I can take. And I saw cookies. A plate full of dragon shaped cookies. <laughs> okay. Did you just bring us any? Uh, yeah, oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> the sail of the dragon. When, as often happens in the thick of battle, I was separated from my comrades in the expedition. I found myself surrounded by enemies. I knew the only thing that I could do was perhaps try to buy some more time for my friends. And in that moment, knowing my own time on the battlefield was nearing an end. I looked over. And do you know what I saw, my Earl? What did you see, my friend? I saw our expeditionaries fighting with bravery, with honor, with courage. Many who had never yet faced such a battle. And they needed no guidance. They needed no knight, nor, with your permission, even a Jarl. Truly, today, they became members of the Grand Expedition. Huzzah! 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 Sorry, I was cut the throat. <laughs> <laughs> no apology needed, my lord. Too cramped, we don't like fighting, really packed in. Just can't swing the sword, especially when you've got a plate guy next to you. Smacking against the plate, it hurts a bit. <laughs> what so, are you trying to say, Thorak? <laughs> fight light, fight fast. Don't fight next to Sir. Don't fight next to Sir Gareth, unless you've got plate on as well. So I was looking online for someone good to fight. I saw this guy with shiny armor, lots of writing all over it, and a big two hander. So what he'll do. <laughs> so I was like, you and me, who are you? Huh? You and me, okay, all right. So we pushed, I pushed our guys back, he pushed his guys back, started. He hit me on the shield, big strong hit, staggered back. <coughs> it's recovered, managed to get one hit on him. Then he hit me again, really hard, I ro knocked me over on my, off my feet. Hit me, rolled away, but got, managed to get back up again. He knocked me down again and just hammered me on the back and I was gone. I don't know what happened after that, I was out. Apparently, as he was hitting my back, some of ours hit him, because uh, he was hitting me when I was down. And then his whole Maltese army waved on top of him and just hit them, because uh, we'd hit him when he was fighting. And then you found out who he was? And then I found out who he was afterwards! Oh! <laughs> Very disappointed to hear my friend Gilgamesh would hit you when you were down. I'll have to have a look. It was middle of a fight, middle of a battle. I don't know. Still, that's not his way. That, that's not how he is. So I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I think it might, it might be another people. Ah, okay. um, yeah. so I thought it was him. But Actually, yesterday. Uh, Michael, you're you hold snake in the black. It might have been oh, sorry, don't someone hit him, so they hit me. I don't. I, I don't remember. That's just what it felt like to me at the time. Still, it took great courage to face Gilgamesh, War Master the Silver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually, acting champion as well, because he's, his Lego is as large as his sword. Whoa. <laughs> So fair play to you. Well, it was didn't know. impressive armor. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> just some guy, yeah? Yeah. Just a fellow on a guy in big armor. It'll do. <laughs> oh well. I, I approached like Jin. the soldier. Jin. Well, Let someone else have a turn. Right. Who else got into an honor duel in the fight today? Uh, today we were in no honor duels. But two years ago, when we were first here, 
Um, I wouldn't call it an honor duel because I don't think that orcs have such a thing. <laughs> Agreed. Here, Therefore, here. Um, a savage orc that I had seen um, earlier on, on the fest two years ago. He and I, we fought. I, th I think that he, he was thinking, yes, he will do. <laughs> um, we fight. Um, he grabs my axe, throws it away. So I grab my, um, I take my sword and hit him on the hand. So he, apparently that, that's enough for him to, uh, to lose grip. His um, girly little wrists. <laughs> 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 so he um, he draws his knife. He, um, maybe it was just a sharp rock, like like this size. So I take this. Oh! And, <laughs> and we go and fight each other. But suddenly, just a wall of orc spears are going for my face. So I go down on the ground. I I lose my uh, I lose my knife. He jumps on me. And um, we tumble around. Suddenly, I'm on top with his knife in some in some way, <laughs> <laughs> and um, pointing it towards his his throat, and I'm inching closer. I'm inching closer, and I'm, I'm like I'm this far from it, <laughs> and I notice something straight uh, underneath my my uh, neck. It is an orc spear. <laughs> it's the last thing I remember from that battle. <laughs> I met him again that evening, but that is a story for later, I think. It is someone else's turn now. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you the choice, being a diplomatic, uh, democratic man that I am. Right. I don't rule by authority. Of course not. Mm. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yeah, I will give you the choice of three fights that I will explain to you. The first, I did not consider another duel, like you say, because it was an orc. One on one, though, and it was a fight. The second was a member of the tribes, who pretty much was sky clad, barring a very small slip of some small animal, <laughs> but with a shield, a great shield, and an axe. I think it was an axe. Yes, it was an axe. And of course, the third story, another member of the tribes, but strangely, this man, I didn't know, he was a good friend of mine, a man I drank with. Man, I fought with uh, not that long ago in the um, recent um, in, uh, in journeys that we did in the first Dragon Age. The man who runs the tavern there. I think you know him. The man who owns the tavern. Anyway, the point is, he's a tavern owner that I happen to be friends with. And he challenged me for a one on one fight. So, the choices are yours. Who wishes to hear the story of the orc? All of them! <laughs> I'm not telling you all, all of them! Story. All of them! <laughs> All three stories. Huzzah! 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 No. <laughs> so. Well, as long as you're talking, I'm not. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> so the orcs. It's not a very long story. Yeah. So the orcs rushed us, and um, they, they uh, for whatever reason, they paused. I was ready to go. I hate the fucking orcs. Oh, I hate the gosh darn orcs. <laughs> I hate the orcs because I've had a lot of trouble with them lately. They have my head, in fact. Yeah. So when they came, I was ready to fight them, and I was stopped. I was like, but Warmaster, you must stop. They will rush through us, and they will attack the silver over there. And I said, this was um, uh, Brother Garvis. And I said, but why, why would they do that? Why, how do we know to trust them? Otherwise, I'd let them behind our lines. And he goes, yes, they, they, did, they did ambush us, and they do have your head. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> so we began to fight. And the fight happened. And of course, like the orcs, they're very smart. They fight in open ranks. Um, they're very good individual fighters, but they're very smart. And they usually separate. But this one wasn't quite so bright. He decided to fight me alone. So I did. We fought. And he was good. Now, I'm not very good with a sword. I've learned this. But I'm better with an axe. And I was better with an axe for a change. Normally, with my old sword, he would have slaughtered me fairly quickly. But for some reason, I did much better. And we were fairly even, but he was a little bit better than me. And again, I'm not the most balanced man, so I fell on my ass. And he was on top of me, and we're scrapping a little bit. And then I remember my good friend, which he didn't have. <laughs> and he was very heavily armored, more than me, because it's hot. And I don't know, if you do me a favor, Your Grace, I have no harm. Just your arm here. You'll find there's a nice, well, not with you. <laughs> <laughs> there's usually a very soft spot there. 
and I found that soft spot. Now, a little bit of a risk. I figured he's a tough man, so instead of the sawing action that should have happened, there might have been a little bit of jab. <laughs> Which he was fine with, and he fell over. Um, now at that point, this story actually includes someone else. So at that point he falls over, I'm laying there, the oaks have moved past us, my alliance have fallen away, I'm on my own. And I think, hmm, I can do the honorable thing now and sort of stand up injured, try to make my way back to the lines, perhaps find an orc, or I can enjoy the shade of my shield. <laughs> Soft grass, the wind blowing across my open wounds. <laughs> So I decided to do so. But the orc, he looked across me and he smiled and he, you know, as he bled out, good fight. <laughs> and I apologize because he's sorry about the, the stabbing, but he goes, oh, I'm orcs, we do that. <laughs> Stab me all you like. I've heard that before, but not in that context. Um, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> so as I was laying there, I was suddenly, my, my, my rest, of course, interrupted. By a very rude man who decided to shove a bottle of a potion in my mouth and say, Potion? <laughs> and then he was gone! But where's the rest? Is that the rescue party? <laughs> hmm. Dude did more. So we laid there together, the orc laughed. Um, so an orc tried to bring water to him, and someone stopped the orc, and then I stopped the person stopping the orc, with them in the water. Ha ha, we laughed, they went away. I said to the orc, I said, I will give you a chance to live. I could kill you now, I could finish you, but out of respect for your fighting, I'll let you live. And he just like, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so he died. <laughs> and of course, when the timing was right, I got up and ran like a squirrel. <clears throat> squirrel! <laughs> yes, I ran kind of like a <laughs> <laughs> some chocolate. Anyway, so I ran into Rejoin Alliance. And that is the story of my fight against the orc. Now, I'm a terribly vain man and I like the sound of my own voice. So, I have tried to do the right oh, thing and give you the choice of only hearing one story. So I will take my seat now, unless there's something that people want me to do other than that. Tell the next story. <laughs> next story! 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 Next is it you? I'm a good cook. He's not a good cook. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hanging here around for a few days now. Cooking. <laughs> Stewarding. Uh, picking up the whole mess. Again. Oh. And cooking. And picking up again. Okay, uh, it was my job. I knew what I had to do before I signed up. But, well, okay. Um, I was here cooking collecting some herbs and was ambushed by some alchemist. What are you doing here? Oh, just collecting some herbs. Oh, you don't know anything about herbs. You're just a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't argue for alchemists. I'm too busy for that. I, I'm a cook. 50 people around. I have no time for that. Well, I'm collecting herbs and say, oh, that's a nice one. Bring it to the alchemist and they, whoa, where did you find that? There. <laughs> um, yeah, hmm. a, a bit impressed, but still, they're the alchemist and I'm the cook. <laughs> well, I'm collecting herbs for this and that, and well, I see my man coming in injured every day. Not even hungry, injured, bleeding. Uh, I'm cleaning up and I just beat on the benches. So I decided it's time to stop that. Going to the woods, collecting herbs, animals, some kind of, uh, you just don't want it. And I, well, bought some chickens and made a very healthy zoo. Mm. Well, they, delicious. Yeah, yeah, delicious and very, very healthy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they all the things there. Oh my god. Um, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> A bit was left over, and I said, Alchemists, now you're done for. <laughs> I just went over there, hey, won't you just a bit of chicken soup? Very healthy. And I said, oh no, I'm too tired, I'm injured for the fighting. Oh, just take it a, one, a bit one. Oh, yes, uh, if I have to. Hey, that's very really good. 
Where do you get it? I made it myself. I'm the cook. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do, I, do, I, do I explain how you did it. I'm collecting herbs. I'm just a cook. I don't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're hungry and need healing, I'm the cook of the expedition. Not for you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> To do first. Maybe at this point, I'm supposed to. That could have been dangerous. <clears throat> I'm supposed to ask you to decide who the victor of this storytelling contest was, because my first story was the one I would pick to choose to fight with. But I'm not going to do that, because I had no better than to argue with the cook. <laughs> <laughs> so, using the privilege of being a y'all, I believe I'm going to encourage all of you to agree that the cook has won. <laughs> Not forgetting! Exactly. That's great. Y'all may kill six people, while the cook can kill many. Exactly. <laughs> more, more importantly, he can kill all of us. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, risk comes reward, work equals pay. I can't pay him enough for all the work he's done. But he took a great risk to challenge to me to stop talking. So, uh, so there's some money for you, my friend. Thank you. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah!